Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the linear programming problems after the detailed discussion on the different terminologies we'll be using on the simplex method, we are going ahead with the flow chart of this particular simplex method. Now under the flow chart we are discussing on the two types like maximization type of the objective function and minimization of the objective function and then we'll combine both of them both the flowcharts in one and uh, I'll be I'll be explaining you everything in detail for this now flowchart of uh, simplex method of the maximization type first of all we have to uh, in the starting or beginning we have to convert the linear programming model into a standard form by adding either slack surplus or uh, and or or artificial variable my suggestion for you all is to before going for this particular uh, session please follow the i button to get and reach to the first one that is the introduction of the simplex method so that you will understand what uh, exactly mean the slack surplus and the artificial variable and the different terminologies which i have used it here in the maximization type or a minimization or a simplex method in fact so uh, decide coefficient of these variables in the objective function again i have given you one one uh, table also when uh, wherever you have uh, to decide what is to be the variable for maximization type what if what should be the variable or the coefficient of the variable in the minimization of slack surplus and artificial after deciding the coefficient of this and after putting the standard uh, standard form we have to set up an initial simplex table to obtain the initial solution after setting up the initial uh, solution we have to compute zj and then cj minus zj value so now again in detail i'll be explaining you what exactly the cj whenever we'll be going ahead with the simplex method the, the problem is based on the simplex method first of all but i knew i would like to go ahead with the flow chart of this um, uh, simplex method so that you will understand what exactly you need to reach to the destination for then we have to take a decision on do cj minus zj are all of them are positive values exist if there is no then this is the solution um, um, or optimal solution for this particular question if we do have the cj minus zj positive values so very important this is cj minus zj here we are going to consider as greater than zero or might be equal to uh, zeros so if if we have got all of them are equal to zero uh, all of them are greater than uh, or uh, equals to zero then we have to move to the next if we are getting them as negative or zero then we have to move ahead that is this optimal solution but if they are there exists positive values then what we have to suppose to do we have to select key column with the largest positive so very important to note this down largest positive cj minus zj value then if it is his largest value then we have to go and select the key row with minimum of xbi divided by xi aij aij is greater than 0 that means actually we we call this xbi divided by aij is nothing but ratio or you can say here the theta so i'll be using both the notations over here theta or a ratio then if all of them are greater than 0, we have to consider only greater than zeros, not even the negative values. We do not have to uh, consider negative or the zeros or you can say here the uh, infinity values. So we are not supposed to. So in that case, we have to put the under if something, something the negative or you can say the uh, zero value or the uh, infinity comes. So we have to put under the ratio column zero for that or a dash for that particular row. If all AIJs are 0, then current solution is unbounded. Very important to note this down. Unbounded and stop the procedure. So we have to stop or eliminate or you can say terminate this particular algorithm whenever we have got, we are, will be getting all these AIJs zeros. So we are getting unbounded solution. If it is not, if it is not, then identify key element at the intersection of the key row and key column. Now this key row and or key column is also known as the pivot row or a pivot column and this element, this key element is also known as pivot element. So we will be using both the notations or both the terminologies here, the pivot or a key row or pivot key, row, uh, key column. Then update the entries in the simplex table by first obtaining key row values and apply elementary row operations. 
if after that we have to make a move again to computing zj and cj values again the same procedure of the flow chart will go on until and unless we are not getting or arising this case that is odd cj minus zj values are negative or zero as soon as we are getting that we have to stop that and that would be our optimal solution so to reach to this point we have to just go again and again for this particular procedure this is for the maximization for minimization first two steps will remain the same but yes while doing the computing cj minus zj if you are getting a negative values then only we will be going and proceeding ahead if at all we are not getting any uh, negative value that means for all cj minus zj values are going to be positive at that time we have to we have reached to the optimal so it is exactly opposite what we are getting it in the maximization so if you are getting it a negative values we have to proceed if you have to getting positive values of cj minus zj we have to terminate or stop that at point and we will be reaching to the optimal solution then the same procedure select the key column with the largest this is very important largest we have got it there the largest negative there in the maximization we have considered largest positive here we have to consider largest negative cj minus zj value the same procedure will follow up the for the ratio and the, uh, for the key column or key element and a key column we have to proceed uh, for follow the same procedure that that is there in the maximization so this steps only this much part is different for this uh, maximization and minimization rest of the first three uh, first three one two and three similarly this one Two and three will remain the same. Even we have to go back to the same computing zj and cj minus zj for the minimization. So this is the difference. If cj minus zj is negative, we have to proceed. If cj minus zj zj is positive or zeros, we have to stop at that point and we have received the optimal solution for minimization. And if we want to combine both of them in one go, this is the flow chart we can combine with maximization or a minimization. If the max or min, if it is a max, then C J minus Z J have to be positive values. Then we have to proceed. If it, if we are getting all of them are positive, no negative value, then we have to go for the optimal. And exactly here, so you can just combine both of them and keep it in front of your eyes so that you can understand. Yes, what to do, what to do when maximization, what to do with the minimization. But uh, but uh, rather than to have a confusion, we can convert the maximization uh, minimization question into the maximization, and we can just remember or understand one particular flow chart of maximization in a detail, and we can just proceed for the examples based on the simplex method. Yeah, and this is all about the flow chart of the simplex uh, method. And stay connected, stay tuned for the upcoming sessions. Thank you so much. Happy learning.